Titanium is a metal of victory. This is in general. But in particular, this is a metal of aviation too. Why? How did the F-16, F-22 and F-35 fighters evolve thanks to titanium? And whether Ukrainian titanium will be used in the latest and greatest F-35? Today I, Margarita Revchichenko, will tell you all of this, as well as about the spy games around the legendary Blackbird aircraft. This is probably the well-known American F-16 fighter jet. It is the most widespread combat aircraft in the world. Nearly 30 countries use it. And soon we are all looking forward to it. F-16 will join the ranks of Ukrainian defenders' forces. Over 4,500 fighting Falcons have been produced, with each one featuring components crafted from titanium, and it allows not much, only 4.2% in the fuselage. The same amount of carbon fiber, 3.7% of steel, and all other parts are made of aluminium. But F-16 trace its origin back to the developments of the 70s, its 4th generation aircraft. But the 5th generation aircraft, the F-22 Raptor, contains much more titanium and titanium alloys, about 30% of the total weight. Compare 4% to 30%. More than compelling evidence in favor of titanium over aluminium. This super predator is lightweight and invisible to radar system thanks to titanium. Titanium alloy is used for all the fasteners here. Many different bolts, rivers and nuts. It's also reinforced the engine, the main large bearings and many other parts. In general, the design solution for using this particular metal was so successful that they were adopted by the successor of the F-22, the family of the most modern and advanced fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II fighter bombers. The exit data is classified. But experts estimate that about a third of the weight of the each lightings has elements made of titanium or its alloys. The fuselage, engines and landing gear. Titanium is everywhere and ensures critical functions. It also proved to be indispensable in the tail section of the F 35C modification, a variant of desk-based fighters that take off from aircraft carriers using a catapult and land using air finishers. Look at this! It's not difficult to guess that such aircraft have to withstand enormous pressure. That is why the tail structure was reinforced with titanium, a lightweight but extremely strong the flexible metal. One note worthy to aspect is. Do you know who produced the titanium fuselage tail parts for the American F-35 Lightning II? The same British corporation, BAE Systems, that is opening its representative office and production facilities in Ukraine. In the previous episode I already told you about this and now have an, an update. The company's executives have recently visited Kyiv to meet top officials in person. Що такі потужні компанії збираються прийти в Україну на ринок український. Їхня продукція безумовно допомагатиме нам зберігати життя наших людей, наших вояків. 
Я дійсно думаю, що ви дуже велику підтримку Україні надасте. Дякую за цю можливість. Ми дійсно тут. Минулого разу ми говорили по відеозв'язку, ми погодили певний напрямок і послідовність дії. Ми йдемо власне, за планом тим, який ми з вами погодили. Ми відкриваємо юрособу, офіс тут відкриваємо, відкриваємо виробництво в Україні. І сподіваємося, що наше обладнання належним чином працює, працюватиме далі. І ми тут, щоб допомогти вам, бо ми хочемо, щоб Україна перемогла. І ми абсолютно віддані такій підтримці. Дуже дякую. The development of security-related industries and technologies is a really promising area for Ukraine at war. Our defense industry is gaining hard and evaluable experience. Experience in which the role of titanium can hardly be overestimated. I propose to consider this as the conclusion, but not the final point. The iconic American Black Hawk helicopter has been involved in operation in many parts of the world and now operating in Ukraine. The titanium in the Black Hawk performs a critical task. It gives strength to the rotor blades, which are made of titanium core. Boeing AH-64 helicopter. Its designers also used titanium, which made this helicopter not only lighter, but also more resistant to corrosion, which are a very important factor for the sea missions. Another example from the sea is American Boeing Super Hornet, a deck-based multiplace fighter. It contains 21% titanium, the metal is used in the production of landing gear and the designs of jet engineers. And in conclusion, I will show you another, the most titanium contains bird, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Boeing Hornets contain 20% of titanium and the F-35s and F-22s have about a third, which sounds like a lot. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird has 93% of its weight it allows containing this metal. That is, the Blackbird is almost entirely titanium and is a truly unique aircraft. Supersonic, high altitude, low visible and yet far from modern. The Americans developed it in the dawn of the Cold War, when they needed a spy plane that would be impossible to track in Soviet airspace and could fly long distance. The story is very interesting, and I'll tell you a little bit from the memories of Lockheed Martin engineer Ben Rich. According to his memories, Lockheed Martin has to solve the issue of creating the lightweight airplane, but strong enough to hold additional fuel for long-distance flights. The engineers quickly realized that only titanium could help accomplish this task. But only place to get titanium is the needed quantities at this time was Soviet Union. Despite all the obstacles of the Cold War, the United States eventually managed to unobstructively purge the base metal from the one of the world's leading exporters, the Soviet Union, through the third companies. Engineer Ben Rich recalls to his memories and concludes, they never had an unkilling of how they were actually contributing to the creation of the airplane being rushed into construction to spy on their homeland. The United States adopted the first titanium Blackbird in 1966, produced a total of uh, 32 aircrafts and stopped using it only 30 years later in 1998. During its exploitation, it set as absolute speed recording amount managed aircraft, which turbojet engines of more than 3,000 km per hour 
and define it to turn for steel technologies development. This is how titanium ensures adventures and achievement that are still impressed more than half a century ago. And the potential for using this metal, believe me, is even more impressive. And I will tell you about it in the next episodes. Subscribe to the channel of the Ukrainian Titanium Industry Association. Leave comments and share it with your friends. See you soon. Bye.